Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for you to see what is in store for today, but before we do that, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment on this video before you leave, and let's get started. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of Fenty. I may not be like a complete 100% full face, but pretty much basically a full face of Fenty Beauty. Stuff I got from the BoxyCharm Premium from, I believe, March where they did a collab with BoxyCharm and the whole premium box was a bunch of Fenty products which is kind of what inspired this video. I also have a couple products that I had already had from Fenty that I've either tried or not tried yet so it just gave me the perfect opportunity to try it so I'm really excited. First time I'm wearing my new little thing that I got from BoxyCharm. This little glam, glam girl gray. But I think it's so cute. So the first product is something that I have not I've only tried once, so I kind of consider it I haven't really tried. Um, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. This is like their original one, the Soft Matte. Um, this is the first one that came out before they came out with like a, and there's like another matte one and like a hydrating one, I believe. And this is like the mini version. So here it is. She's so cute. So I've only tried this like once, like I said a long time ago when I got the Fenty Beauty uh, sample foundation it came with like a sample of the primer too and I tried it with the foundation it seemed like it worked really well so I wanted to get the full size and I had just not got to it so I finally did but I did get the mini and not the complete full size because I still wasn't sure how I felt but I felt good about it enough the two days that I was able to make out of the sample primer that uh, I felt like it would work well so let's just see what she does so it actually does kind of have a color to it. And spread it all over the face. Sadly, the product that I'm going to use next, I haven't really figured out a way to wear it out in public yet because it's too dark for me. As you can tell, it's probably the foundation. So this is a soft matte foundation. This is the original formula that they came out with. I've used a lot of this. Um, I shook it up. That's why you can't really tell. But um, it's definitely too dark on me. So... That sucks, but um, I'm trying to figure out a way that I can like lighten it up, like maybe add a lighter foundation to it to make it match me better, but I haven't tried that yet, but I do really like this foundation. So with the primer, my skin just feels really soft, kind of just looks the same as it did before. We're just going to blend her in. So I feel like my skin looks good. It may not look like it's too dark for me in the camera. I can't really tell, but uh, in real life, like if I go outside, it's definitely, definitely too dark for me. But I feel like my skin looks really nice. I used uh, some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist after I uh, used my blender to spread it out. I sprayed that on my face and then tapped that in just to make me look a little more dewy and because my skin kind of changed when I got like pregnant. Like it went from, I used to have like, I mean the oiliest skin, oil slick, oily. I mean like beyond, like nasty oily, like literally. Like it just seemed like that at least. But I really was like really oily and sometimes it was hard for me to keep my makeup on. I always had to use a lot of powders stuff like that and now and like matte stuff and now my skin is like combo to dry so things that like used to work for me I'm like kind of getting back used to I haven't used this foundation for a while so I was just trying to bring a little bit of life back to my skin because like I said my skin's more dry now sorry if you can hear my son in the background he's just playing and stuff but I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty gloss balm in the shade Diamond Milk I actually got this in my um, boxy charm, I really like it. It's front and center. It wasn't even with my Fenty Beauty stuff that I have set to the side right here. It's just right there, and I use it all the time. Very pretty and glossy. I only wanted to use that next because my lips are like super dry right now for some reason. I do have a lip that I'm going to use at the end, but um, I just wanted to put that on for now because my lips are really dry. So, like I said, I don't have like everything. Fenty Beauty to be like a complete full face, but I had a primer, foundation, and now I have highlighters, multiple, that lip gloss, a lipstick, 
and an eyeshadow palette and a highlighter palette. So that's kind of what I have left full face Fenty Beauty wise. It's not like a complete 100% full face. Like I don't have the bronzers and I don't have, I don't have, you know, a bronzer, a blush or anything like that. Um, I could try to improvise maybe with some of the stuff that I have to try to do possibly blush maybe, probably not bronzer, but um, yeah. So like I said, it's like pretty much a full face, not 100%. I don't have their powder either. I don't get scent makeup, I buy all the makeup that I have, or I've got gifted it by family or friends, or my husband, so, or BoxyCharm is how I've gotten a lot of my makeup too, so, yeah, that's why I don't have a complete 100% full face, but I felt like I had enough to make it be a full face video. So also, in my BoxyCharm, I got the Matchstick Shimmer Stick in the shade Blondie. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very gold, very pretty. And I'm thinking if I sheer it out enough that it won't be too dark for my skin tone. So I haven't powdered or anything. So I have a lot of highlighters to go through. So I think I'm just going to put this one on my nose just to see what it does. So I definitely think it sh it's, you know, shined up my nose. Very pretty. I'm scared to put it on the side of my cheek just because it's so dark that I'm scared that it'll uh, give me a gray cast. So we'll have to try it again a different time to see if it does that. But I kind of wanted to give it a little bit of a shot in this video. So also on the BoxyCharm we got the Kilowatt Highlighter and Trophy Wife. Which again, it's a gold highlighter so I'm scared that it's going to be too dark on the side of my skin. So, but I'm still going to try it on one side because, like I said, a lot of the stuff that I have from her are highlighters, either from BoxyCharm or that I purchased myself. Stunning. Very pretty. So, let's just see what she looks like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I swirled around like twice and like barely tapped it on my cheeks. And as you can see, whew, okay then. Tap that off a little bit. Uh, whoa. <laughs> very, very, very pigmented. Um, it doesn't look like it's really giving me that much of a dark cast. It actually looks pretty good like from the front. Like you can actually still see like the glitter reflects from the front. Next, this is something I purchased myself because I tried it in Sephora and I loved it so much and I just, I wanted it for so long and then I finally just gave in and got it. It's the Fenty Beauty uh, Diamond Bob Bomb All Over Diamond Veil in the shade How Many Carrots. This is the packaging. It's so stunning. So I've technically tried this. I've never tried my personal one. But, um, I tried this in store and I, like, had to have it. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. This is what she looks like. Very pretty. I feel like, um, with the Golder highlighters, with those, I feel like I will probably use them on my body more, like, in the summer. So with this one, you can kind of go, like... A little more subtle glow or you can like keep piling it up it almost looks like if you like were to spread it all over the place like and not like super amplify it it'd be like almost like glass skin like you were like luminous so I feel like with that one that one would look really pretty on the body too along with the golden ones so something that I'm not actually going to use in this video, but I'm just going to mention because I have it and it's a Fenty product. It's the Instamat Blotting Powder. I haven't got to use this yet. Um, I got this in the BoxyCharm, so like I said, I haven't got to use it yet, but I at least wanted to mention it in this video. So I have three products left. I have the Fenty Beauty Matamucil Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Single. I, and I got that in a boxy charm. And the last two items I purchased myself. No, I got so I got that in a boxy charm. I also got the Moroccan Spice palette in the boxy charm. 
and I purchased this myself. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. Oh, cute. And this is what the color looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's even got the Fenty Beauty um, emblem on it. My lips are definitely too dry for something like this. As you can see, they're crusty. Probably should have used <laughs> a lip scrub before I put this on, but this is what it looks like. Definitely think it's a really pretty, like I said, orangey nude color. But it's just like a lipstick. Like, I don't know that it's going to dry down. Like, right now it's not. Maybe if I leave it on for a minute it will. But, yeah, I think it's a pretty shade. I really hope it dries down because those are like kind of, um, I'd prefer like a dry down or like a lip gloss normally. A dry down so that I can kiss my son and it doesn't transfer onto him or my husband. And uh, I like glosses because they're moisturizing and they look pretty on the lips. So yeah, that's normally what I go for. I don't normally go for like a bullet lipstick, which is what I would consider that until I know it dries down. I don't know if it dries down yet. If it does, then that's cool. We'll find out, but now to eyes. So I'm going to use both of these palettes. So let's get into it. So I decided I'm just going to like hurry up and go through and use uh, uh, these palettes. I'm just going to like show you what I'm pick, which colors I'm picking out. And I'm just going to like basically fast forward through it so this video is not too long. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what the palettes look like because I've never used them before. So just to show you what they look like. This is the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Very pretty. simple eye look so I could hang out with my son <laughs> but uh, kind of matches the lipstick I think the shadows seem like they blend pretty well together um, I've not tried it a million times so I'm not like OMG it's the best but so far first trying it seems good I don't know how long wearing they are but they seem really nice so far and this did not dry down still it comes off um, I've had it on for maybe 10 more minutes after uh, I applied it um, and it's still not completely dried down so it is like a bullet lipstick formula so just keep that in mind that it doesn't dry down so out of everything I've tried I liked everything so far um, especially the stuff that I had already tried before of course I liked it um, but the new stuff that I tried all seems pretty nice so that was my full face of Fenty Beauty I hope you guys enjoyed um, I'm definitely gonna do more looks with this palette in the future and also, if you want me to do a full face with a different brand that you guys like, or if you just want me to do a full face of other brands, I have other brands that I have more than one product of, so I can definitely do another full face, or I can put two brands together and try to make a complete full face, because like I said, I don't have every product from every brand, because I don't get like PR or scent stuff or anything like that, so if I combined like maybe two or three brands, I could probably come up with like a complete full face, so definitely let me know if you'd want me to do something like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any video suggestions, please comment them down below and check the description box for more information about the video. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are at Glam Girl Gray. See you next time.